Matilda Rafa Cuomo. Matilda Nancy Rafa Cuomo. Yes, was born in um, September 16th, 1931. And her given name was, I believe, Matia. Hey Gala fam, it's Rachel and Rhea and we're the Gala sisters. We're actually Irish twins. Yeah, which means we're 15 months apart or less. So today we are going to do what we always do on Mondays. It might be a little late because we haven't been feeling super great. But we are going to be talking about the um, Cuomo matriarch. Mm -hmm. We don't think that she gets enough recognition, even though I, I, Chris did, Chris Cuomo, her son on Cuomo Primetime, did say that Trump gave her some recognition. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll get into what that was. Not exactly the type that you would want. Uh, no, and we'll talk about that towards the end of this video. So, Matilda Rafa Cuomo, Matilda Nancy Rafa yes, Cuomo, was born in um, September 16th, 1931, and her given name was, I believe, Mattia. Well, let me double check. Yeah, so her given name was Mattia Rafa, and when she came over to America with her parents, she, she could not speak any English at all. She could only speak Italian, so she had some trouble going to school. They didn't want her to go to school unless she learned English. And they, she did end up learning English and she went to school and everyone at the school called her Matilda. And she was afraid of making them angry. So she just rolled with it. And thus we have Matilda Cuomo. And I, I, I just got that story off from the internet. I haven't heard it from herself, so I don't know 100% if it's true. Um, I It sounds like something that would happen. It seems pretty reasonable. And, just, you know. Just so you guys know, the Cuomo's actually all speak Italian and English. Mm -hmm. They are actually fluent in both languages. Yeah. Just figured I would throw that out there because they might not know. So, we all know Matilda because of her husband, Mario, Mario Cuomo, mm -hmm. who was governor... Uh, and lieutenant governor of New York from, and he was governor from 1984 to, or 1983 to 1994. Yes. And while we were alive, some of that, we never really knew him. No. And we'll do a whole separate video mm -hmm. on him at some point. I think because he is just so packed with things and so is she, that I think they each deserve their own separate video. And you can't talk about Matilda without going over her amazing five children. You want to... Well, her firstborn is Margaret Cuomo. And she is trying to cure cancer. So she holds a very special place in my heart. Yes, she is an MD for anyone who wants to know. Her next oldest would be Andrew, current governor of New York. who will be running for re-election in November of night of 2022. Her next born is, is it Maria? I got it. Her next born, yeah, is Maria. And Maria has dedicated her entire life to helping people recover from domestic violence um, situations. And Maria, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Her next born is Madeline Cuomo. And Madeline Cuomo is a matrimony attorney. Which means she deals with divorce and other prenups and, pre like and other legal things. Mm. And her baby is Chris Cuomo, host of Cuomo Primetime. Of course. <laughs> so, 
and you know all those all those people have gone on to be do amazing things and but we don't have any of those five without her she is without a doubt like you know andrew said that after he'd gone through love and of hell that when he finally got a chance to see her that she had 12 pages of notes for him <laughs> and so the, that's really funny that's great and chris Run after my own heart and chris also said that she had some things to say to him too things like i don't like your hair i don't like your suit and horrible awful things like that that only a mother could say so Matilda was a huge, um, just like equal rights advocate, and she advocated for children. There is just this beautiful interview I came across with her and another reporter, a lady, I don't remember who it was. Well, if I can find it, we'll link it below. And Matilda was talking about her legacy. And what she did is she, um, she started what's called the Mentoring USA. And her husband came up with this idea. And he was like, I have just the person to do this. And the person I'm going to choose to do this is going to do it for free. Well, Mario, who did he, who are you going to choose to do this? My wife, of course, you know, because she didn't have enough to do at home with five children. Actually, at that time, Chris was the only one left at home, so she didn't have as much to do. So Mario put her to work, and what Mentoring USA does, and I, I literally cried when I saw her talking about this because it was just so beautiful. She finds struggling youth in schools and pairs them up with a mentor to help them get through school, to graduate, to... Um, you know, have a friend, and it's it went it was huge <laughs> in New York, and I believe it still is. And eventually, it ran out of funding, so she just kind of had to stop working on it. But Andrew Cuomo, her son, picked up on it, and what did he do? He brought her right back. <laughs> he put his mom right back to work, <laughs> just like his dad did. Oh my, like, like that. Like father, like son, apple tree. And obviously she's 89 now, almost 90. She's quite elderly, so she can't do as much anymore. But she she did something with her life, and she changed so many lives. And I promise you she saved lives, and she got kids through high school. I mean, oh, my God. It's, I, I can't imagine being that impactful in the world and I hope that I can look back on my life when I'm 90 and say that I did something with it too. And the thing is is that it kind of shows you know the love that her sons in particular have for you know the U.S. you know the fact that Andrew has gone on and said I love you all. Chris has said I love you all because they learn from the, mass, the mistress of love, of love and care and you know, coming from a Masonic background, I mean, that's an amazing feat that she was able to do all of this, and she's still doing things. She is a great role model for young girls and young women and middle-aged women and women of all ages. I mean, without her, I doubt that Kamala Harris is going to be our vice president. I would yeah. go as far to say that that's probably true. I mean, maybe not directly, but it's probably true. But she was a woman in politics, and she did a lot of positive things. I would say that she kind of reminds me of Michelle Obama in her passion for taking care of the youth and, you know, making sure they have food and mentors and education. And I'm, I don't think people give her enough credit, and they really need to add her to the history books right next to her husband and teach children about her and who she was so that we can get more people to emulate her behavior. She, like you said, she was born Matilda Nancy, Nancy Rappa. And what year did she meet her husband in? Um, well, she was born Mattia. Mattia Nancy, probably. Mm -hmm. um. Um. And, you know, obviously, you know, she met Mario and she was with him until his death in 2015. 
Um, they met in, okay, so she met Mario in 1951 in the cafeteria of the college <laughs> that they were going to together at St. John's University in Queens. Yes. And their, their, that family is 100% pure Italian. It is very obvious. They are the most Italian family ever. And she just kind of seems like the cool lady who you want to, like, you know, sit down and have dinner with. I mean, she seems like a perfectly nice woman. And if you guys didn't see, we will link it down below that we made her uh, birthday post. Mm -hmm. And she just, she's one of those people who there is no New York, period, without her. There, there's none. I mean, Como Primetime doesn't exist without her. Hot Love Days of Hell doesn't exist without her. No. And she's just, she's so vital and so important. And she, without her, we don't have a lot of what we need. No. And I really hope that her mentoring USA gets even bigger than it is right now because so many kids just need a little extra help. And if they just got that extra help, they would be great. I mean, just look at Chris. Chris Cuomo was very open about his his mental health issues. And look what he's done. And, of course, it's because he is a great support group. Yes, obviously. So if she was able to help him do something with his life and help Andrew do something great and all the rest of her children, too, then if we all acted like her... We'd all have a chance at life. Because she was mother to people who didn't have one. And that that's an amazing feat. Something that I really hope she's proud of. And Trump. And Trumpers, leave her alone. Can you please explain what happened? So, I guess Trump threatened to sue her for being the mother of Chris and Andrew. Like what? You can't sue someone for giving birth. No. Obviously not. I mean, doing someone for giving birth. And that's also really stupid because I thought that um, Republicans are pro-life, you know, and hated abortion and stuff like that. Hmm? In 2017, she was inducted into the National Woman's Hall of Fame. I mean, I'd like to point that out, that, you know, she's not a nobody. No, she's not. She, um, she was also second lady of New York from 1979 to 1982. Yeah. And, you know, that's a big deal. So if you guys have time and you're just looking for an hour or two to kill, go and watch some interviews with her. She's so well spoken and she's just amazing. Um, and you know, her sons obviously love her and <laughs> Andrew in all of his glory, he just Loves to start naming everything in New York after his parents. <laughs> you know, we just, we joke that it's he should just, rename New York Mario Cuomo. <laughs> it's a joke here in the house. It, we're just joking. It's all in good fun. We love the Cuomos. Um, but in honor of his mother, since COVID does <laughs> affect elderly people more than younger people, um, Andrew made the Matilda, the Matilda's Law, which protects people 70 years and older. And he says, when we are wearing a mask and social distancing and staying home when you have any flu-like or cold symptoms or have been exposed to someone who's positive, think about it like you're protecting your mother. You're, you're respecting your grandmother, your grandfather, you know? And that's why he named it after <laughs> her, to make it personal, to say I'm not doing this to punish you. I'm doing this because I love my mom. And because I love my mom, I love you guys. And all the, and especially Chris and Andrew are mom's bliss. I would go as far yes. to say that they are. I mean, Chris has gone on record as saying that I'm still her baby, even mm -hmm. though he's 50 years old, because <laughs> he is the youngest he's by quite a baby. bit, actually, by quite a bit. Yep. And I think that's very cute. It's very sweet. And she definitely needs to have so much love and so much respect because not only did she raise one amazing human. Oh no, she raised five. She did. Five. And not only that, but she supported her husband. One of the, I would arguably say, one of two of the greatest governors of all time. Yes. And 
raising a having a husband be governor that's one thing but having a husband and a son be governor she is actually one of two or one of maybe even three or four i'm not exactly sure but raising a, a boy a, a child to be to emulate that to mm -hmm. be a good to governor. be a good governor to be someone who shows love and compassion and it's so obvious that she taught her sons and her daughters how to be human yeah and if you look through the history books a lot of kings and stuff like that who had children who took over for them did not do good job so no and i mean it, it just i mean this is a testament awe inspiring this is a testament to the person that she is the person that she continues to be and so if you are by some chance watching this thank you and you also have an open invitation on our channel. We do interviews and it would be a dream come true to be able to feature you here. If, if you don't want to, you can't, you know, that's totally fine. But we just want to make sure that you know that that door is open and you are welcome here. Yeah. I mean, if you need someone to, you know, help you with, you know, your mentoring USA, we're right here. <laughs> we're not going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, we would be more than willing to do that. I mean, I don't mind helping. Mm -hmm. Give us a purpose. Show us things. And, you know, I remember on her birthday, um, when Andrew made her birthday post, I remember he said, and teach her to many. And I remember he said that. And it's just so beautiful that, you know, somebody could go, could, you know, be an amazing person themselves. And it does, it makes sense that, all of her children have gone on to do amazing things. And her okay. grandchildren will too. And we're not going to talk about her grandkids in this video. No. You guys got to understand that there's just so much there. And there's so many people, you know, and this is a time, you know, when women were not as respected as they are now. No. She really paved that way. I mean, women are more respected now than they were in the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and even last year. But the Cuomo's are just awesome because they clearly do respect women beginning with their mother. And those two, those those kids all love their mom. I mean, we'll, and we'll do a video about the other Cuomo forgotten siblings. We'll be happy to do that for you guys and we're going to do it. And we're going to continue to make videos about this family because they shaped the world for the way, not just the U.S., but the world for the way it is today. Yeah. And... She is one of those women who changed everything. Mm -hmm. And it's it, the world will never be the same after her. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's a lasting difference forever. And, you know, while she's kind of semi-retired now, it's okay. Yeah. Because you can only change the world so much before you need to pass the baton to someone else. Yeah. And someday... Hopefully we can make a video like this saying her daughters were the same way. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about her daughters, not her sons. No, we're talking about the daughters. And yes, they are a huge, they're huge. I follow Maria um, Cuomo Cole on uh, Twitter and she's just so fun on Twitter. <laughs> and we'll do a video about her. Mm -hmm. You know, for those of you guys who do not know, yes, yeah, she's married to Kenneth Cole, the famous fashion designer. She mm -hmm. also has a son-in-laws and daughter-in-laws who do amazing things. Yes. And thank you, I guess, for sharing your children with us. Yeah, and your legacy. And it's an honor to be able to even make this video. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to end the video here. If you guys have any other things that you would like to share about Matilda, please share them down below. Remember, this is a place of love, not a place of hate. If you are going to hate on the Cuomo's, this is not the channel for you. There are lots of other channels on the internet. You can go find those. And you can make your own. Mm-hmm. Or you can just make your own. So if you guys like videos like this, make sure to click the thumbs up button. Don't, I would advise not clicking the down button since we don't give oxygen to the garbage. If you don't like us, leave us alone because it does exactly the same thing. Subscribe to that chant to the channel by smashing that subscribe button down below and ring that bell and click the all button so you always know whenever we go live or 
or um, release fun content. And please remember that we release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around here. At least we try, dude. <laughs> it's going to be late this week, but that's okay. So just remember that the two of us, we are the Gala Sisters. And we will see you guys around in our next video. And, well, and make sure that you share this with your friends. And then yep, comment down below. Bye! It's not a game, it's a red stick.